Welcome to our podcast on traffic management. My name is Peter James. Jess Jocelyn and I will be discussing the importance of controlling risks associated with workplace transport. Jess, what do you mean by traffic management and workplace transport? Hi, Peter. Well, workplace transport is an activity involving vehicles operating in a workplace. This includes the movement of vehicles on construction sites, warehouses and retail premises. Traffic management is the control of risks associated with the movement of vehicles. This includes risks to members of the public where repairs are being carried out on public roads. So how should a duty holder approach the management of workplace transport and ensure the safety of employees and members of the public? Well, the Health and Safety Executive has produced guidance. The starting point is to carry out a risk assessment. The HSE considers there to be three key areas to consider when assessing risks associated with workplace transport. The design of the premises or site, the safety of the vehicle and the competence of the driver. What would be considered a safe site? Premises should be well designed with segregation of vehicles and pedestrians. If this is not possible, there should be clearly marked pedestrian and vehicle traffic routes and crossing points. Consideration should be given to vehicle activity such as reversing, parking, coupling and unloading and tipping. Vehicles should also be safe and suitable for the purpose they are used. Vehicles should be maintained in good working order and any faults repaired. Planned inspections are a vital part of preventative maintenance. It is important that drivers are also competent to operate vehicles safely and receive appropriate training. What about risks to the public? Where works are undertaken on public roads, it is essential to protect pedestrians with clear and safe walkways, traffic lights at road crossings and the provision of marshals in busy areas. Traffic routes for vehicles must be clearly signposted, with sufficient room to drive safely through any temporary route, with appropriate speed limits and lighting. What happens when an organisation gets things wrong and fails to control those risks? Well, the HSC and other regulators frequently prosecute employers and duty holders who fail to properly manage workplace transport and expose their employees and members of the public to risk. What are the common failings illustrated by prosecutions? Prosecutions often result from a failure to properly control and monitor the movement of pedestrians and vehicles and ensure vehicles can move safely without risk to pedestrians. For example, in 2012, a fatal accident occurred involving a customer at a Travis Perkins retail site. The customer was loading planks of wood onto the roof of his vehicle when he fell backwards and landed on the floor of the yard. He was then run over by a Travis Perkins vehicle that was moving in the yard. Travis Perkins was fined £2 million. The court found that there was a failure to adequately separate visitors and company vehicles limit the number of people in those areas and create loading and unloading bays or areas separate from the yard. Whether as a place of work or a works undertaken on a public road, it is essential to put in place effective traffic, traffic management measures to ensure the safety of pedestrians and vehicles. The cost of failure can be substantial and potentially put a business at risk. Thank you for listening to this podcast. I hope you found it useful BLM's Specialist Health and Safety Department can advise on appropriate and effective measures to manage workplace transport and provide advice and assistance in the event of an investigation or prosecution by the Health and Safety Executive or other regulator.